<laughs> You're right, we'll be starting quite shortly. Hi Manu. Be going live in a few minutes, I'm just getting everything sorted.
Hi everybody! I am just grabbing myself a drink and stuff then I'll start. Farts a little bitch. Somebody shout Charlie. That's all. We're going to be dodging the dragon that's up here today. So I realised at the end of last stream as well, I have enough stats for using this thing two handed. So that's what I'll be doing. Do I have the item box yet? No, I don't. Let's go and get it, so I can stash stuff. And yeah, this thing just flattens stuff. So I'm going to go and get the item box. I'm not get the camera on because I'm knackered and I look like shit, so I'm not. Ah, just out of range. But yeah, no camera today, but time to go and smash stuff in the face. This guy. Oh, there you are. Still keeping your marbles all together? Then go ahead, don't be a nitwit. Never hurts to splurge when your days are numbered. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a no makeup stream win. There we go, bottomless box, that's what we wanted. 1000 souls. So you got anything else interesting? Club shields, none of which we can afford, and some chainmail. Thank you. through here again. The only downside for this weapon is the amount of stamina that it uses to swing it. It's like two thirds of my stamina for a, a light swing. Brina. Is this door open? It does. I always forget why this door's here. Oh, shield. Now I can use the bottomless box. So throwing knives can go in there. Black fire bombs can go in there. Oops. Pine resin can go in there for now. We'll keep the whole of spawn and they because they're on my quick bar or something. They are. How do I take them off? There. 
So we'll keep the regular firebombs on. And we'll keep the homeward boat on. No, I have played this before, Danny. Like, seven years ago, I think it was. It's not my first playthrough, but it has been a long time since I've played it. So you can go in the bin, you can go in the bin, you can go in the bin. die horribly on this bridge. Yeah, Wayno's always got to be first, Kelly. He complains otherwise. Going this way. There's the arse end of that drake. This bit I always hate. I've fallen off here dozens of times. Because this guy likes to back away. that everybody hits. Rats. The more of them there are. Go a bit further up. To open this gate behind us, or is it only from the dragon? It looks like it's only from the dragon side. That thing looks friendly. Nice little clang as it bounces off the wall as well. Stop it. I'm the only one who is allowed to drink. Uh oh, it's coming. Can't move. I am stuck. There we go. Leave me alone.
Why is it just ignoring me? Gotcha. Didn't drop us anything though. Well, it is an armored boar or an armored pig. And a giant one at that. Two guys with crossbones. going to run all the way up here. I bet he is. See those things you can use to cheese the pig because the alluring skull like draws enemies towards it so you can throw it in the fire below and the pig will just run onto it and die. So where do I go from here? Anything up here? Apart from the nice view. That's a lie. Anything this way? No. I can't remember where to go. The way down there. Well, that's all we've got on this side. What is down then? Be wary of monster. Yeah, this looks like a trap. And I still get caught out. No. Leave me alone. See, I know it was coming and I still got caught. I wonder. Let's actually use one so you can see what they do. Look, it draws those two towards it. Those three, I should say. Oh, fucked that up. <laughs> Get a big hat, Logan. That thing looks ridiculous when you actually get to see it. Yeah, I need more stamina. Next time I can level up I'm just going to spam stamina. So I can actually roll after swinging this thing if I need to. Backstab. One more of a back splat with this thing. Come on. Come this way. Got him. Yeah, if you look at my stamina, the green bar at the top. 
Hi Greg! You are watching me play Dark Souls for the second time in about seven years. I'm slowly remembering where everything is. Right. Oh, the pig is permanently gone. I thought it stayed. That makes things easier. shall we? They'll probably follow us, but... Whoop. Got caught. That's one thing I do like, the like about the bodies and stuff. Did he just disappear? He phased through the wall or something. Yeah, but I know he's there. Yeah, the bodies can get caught on you, so you can just run around like this. Come on. Yeah, I can swing once and I've barely got any stamina left for dodging afterwards. So I've got to be careful until I can get more stamina. Or try and be careful anyway. Ah. Mystery key. Where's that? This bit. Resembles a basic prison cell key. Purposes unknown. Appears to be a basic prison cell key. Look for a prison cell then. Everybody's favourite part of these puzzles, trying to walk across the rafters. There. Ah, just more souls. And another broken straight sword. You run. There are occasionally stuff in those barrels, like there was earlier. Right, this must just be a loading screen thing. Like a loading area. Because normally... White light means... Yeah, it's just like a loading area. Because white light usually means a boss. Ooh, see if I can sneak up on this guy and backstab him. Like, but enemies in this game do actually have a hearing range as well. There, go. So if you're within, like, you can get spells that dampen how much noise you make, and the heavier the armor you wear, like, the more sound you make as well. What was that shield? Night shield. Medium shield is elegantly carved and painted. Although it is thought to have been used by ancient knights of nobility, its defence capabilities are similar to other shields. 
but yeah, it's just a fancier shield than normal. Not particularly special. And now we continue this way. Be wary of left, enemy ahead. Okay. Useful notes. And that bell ringing means there is another player has just rung one of the bells nearby. It's the only time you hear that sound effect in game. And yeah, I am playing it online just in case anybody does try to invade because it is part of the fun of this game. Like, I love the the invasion mechanic and actually invading other people occasionally as well. I used to do it a ton in Dark Souls 3. I loved invading people in Dark Souls 3. Oh, bugger. I forgot about him. Do chew chugs, please. There. So the game does have a, a repost system as well, I learned recently from watching somebody speedrun it, where like you can hit an enemy when they're open and that'll do damage. But if you hit them at certain points during their attacks, it does extra damage, apparently. Which is something I never knew. Right. What's down this way? All oh, this is where I can open the gate. Is there anything around here? Got him down there. Oh, one of the knights comes launching out of this door, don't they? Splat. And yeah, I am fully expecting to get invaded at some point. Like, there are a couple of places where it's almost guaranteed to happen. Because it's like an automatic invasion zone. I get a basement key. Opens the narrow passage leading below at the far face of the Great Bridge in the Undead Berg. The lower Undead Berg is a treacherous place. Oh, that'll be the door over where Solaire was. So when you get invaded, Kelly, the bonfires that you rest at get locked out so you can't rest at a bonfire and another player will come into your world and they'll look like a ghost uh, most of them will be like black and red because that's like the standard invasion one there are some blue ones and stuff like that but most of the time they'll be black and red so their objective is to kill you if they kill you they get more souls, they get rewards for it. And you die and go back to your last bonfire. You can also lose stuff as well. Like there's a few other things people can do with invasions. Some of them are real dickish. Like there's a, a thing called Grave Lording. I can't remember whether you can do that in the standard game or whether it's just New Game Plus. But it makes enemies harder and you've got to basically hunt down wherever it is. There we go. Backstab. But yeah, that somebody can go into your world, kill you, they get rewards for it, they get souls for it, which is basically your XP in this game. And uh you get chucked back to your last checkpoint. Also, in this game, like you can see I'm all zombie looking at the moment. Or you can kind of. 
you can make yourself human again. And if you do that, it makes you more susceptible to invasions. It also, if somebody invades you and kills you like that, sets you back to being a hollow, so waste your item for doing it. That there is like a regular spirit. You'll occasionally see those, and those are other players as well. So, uh, can't kill a while. Hollowed, we want to level up first. And we needed more stamina. So we'll put you up to 16. Right. And I hear a blacksmith. It's Andre. Well, you must be a new arrival. I'm Andre of Astora. If you require smithing, then speak to me. Special embers for... Oh, that's where you do the... Change the kind of equipment. So he can repair stuff for me. Which is handy, because stuff can break. Uh... He sells shards, and he sells this stuff. So, repair box, so I can repair stuff at a bonfire, armor smith, weapon smith box. He sells a few weapons, including the Cestus. They're like punch weapons, they're great fun. He sells a few shields, and he sells arrows. And he has an infinite amount of arrows. But that's the main thing we'll be buying off him. We just need to save up for it. So can he make my sword any better? He can. Let's do it. So that's my long sword. And then... We shall use a few of these souls. It's always good to have the long sword as a backup if I want to use it with a shield or something. Do I have any of the usable souls on me? Got a tiny one. So I'll put you in the box for now, put you in the box for now. And now for the Zweihander. And we need to grab. I meant to reverse hollowing as well for the hell of it. Make myself human. So this makes me more susceptible to being invaded, but I do get more health for it. And I believe it makes your item discovery a bit better as well. I remember hearing that at some point, I'm not sure if it's true. Well, I love music needed. Right. Force weapons I hand out, I need a shard. So let's buy one from him. Oh, I need slightly more souls. Fortunately, I'm going to use these one at once. Because they didn't bring in using multiple items until a later game really annoying especially if you've got like well, dozens of them need anything. so reinforced weapon spy hander so I need another titanite shard Don't get your neither. Enough for a shard. 
what you need. And then how much was it to upgrade? Purchase shard. So that plus five as well. You can get weapons up to plus ten. But shards will only work up to plus five. So a reinforced weapon. I need 800. I should have enough for that. See, if I actually paid attention when I was watching people speedrun this game. Andre is in 1 and 3. I don't remember seeing him in 2 anywhere. But he's definitely in 1 and 3. Swihander plus two. There we go. Don't get you. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Yeah, he shows up in three, and that surprised pretty much everybody because nobody was expecting it. Because Dark Souls Two is like it's set a long time after Dark Souls One, and really doesn't cross over with it at all. Like, the story of Dark Souls 2 is kind of the odd one out. Like, it doesn't connect to the others that I know of. Other than the whole Age of Fire and Hollows and stuff. Right, so let's go and have a look in this church. But, gotta take these guys out. Come on, come and get me. Two hundred and six damage. That's pretty decent. All our soldier armor. Oh, I dodged way too late for that. I should just splat him. Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, that's what this guy is. So yeah, I think Dark Souls 2 has a couple of like callbacks to Dark Souls 1. But other than Hollows and stuff, I don't think the story's connected. Right, so I hurt him a fair bit, but he hurt me a fair bit as well. Let's drag him out here where we can fight him a bit better. Come on. See, look, I can do that as well. And mine is faster than yours. Dead. And he had a Titan shard for us. Cool. So there's a ghost of another player. And there is the caster guy who likes to dance so we will go and take him out what's this oh I know what this is we're gonna take this And we are back in Firelink Shrine with all the good stuff. So that tower thing over there is your way back to the asylum where you start the game. Is that how we get over to the roof as well? I think it is. However, it's a really awkward jump. Because you're going to jump onto that thing. There. And you can go over to where that giant, I think it's supposed to be a crow or a raven, you can go over there. Or you can go right to the top where there's a nest and it takes you back to the asylum. That nest there. 
But we're not going to do that just yet. Mellow the Crow. Or Raven. I think it's meant to be a crow just because of its, it looks a bit raggedy. Ravens are usually like much cleaner. I say usually much cleaner, they just look cleaner. And that's the asylum key. There we go, I actually jumped that time. Petrus is still I here. You, I'm afraid that may be difficult. Come again. Be effective. What else have I missed around here? Well, I spoke to Petrus. Been up here. Did I just miss? The boxes, what were the chests? I don't know. But now, I can go down here and go back to the big bonfire that's here. Don't you ever think to fall? You'd better find a smith box soon, unless you enjoy swinging about with blunt instruments. <laughs> so we shall sit at the big bonfire. Can we level up at all? Might be able to if I use some souls. Do I have any? Um. Your 200. I'll need another one. Your 400. Is that enough for a level? Oh, like 40 away. There. Oh, I've got the Firekeeper Soul as well. So, we shall level up Endurance for the Stamina. Because we need the Stamina. And the Firekeeper Soul I can use... Is it down here she is? Ah, there. So this lady is the firekeeper. She looks after the bonfire. But she can't speak at the moment. But, use the firekeeper soul to reinforce the Estus flask. We do this. Our healing now does more. Estus flask plus one. So, I am going to sit at this bonfire. I know, I'll be back in a second while I nip to the loo.
No, I was just avoiding your Beth, that's all. So, we'll head back up to where we were, but I'm going to check something first. Oh yeah, this box as well. This box is part of an unused part of the game. Originally, if you lost like a, an important story item for whatever reason, it was going to show up in this box. But they changed their minds and it ended up just be that important story items would reappear instead. Hi Alex. So we'll go around that side. So I did miss some stuff around here. Om nom nom. And then I'm sure there's another bit I've missed. Because I don't have the mace and I should. Or the morning star. So we'll go this way. Not that one, the other one. I also made myself human in case of any invasion funsies, Alex. Because somebody's bound to try it. Is that death down there? Doesn't look like death. It is not. Ah, this is the bit I forgot. Secret area. So you were asking about invasions earlier, Kelly. That's how you do them. If I wanted to invade somebody else, I could use a cracked red eye orb to do it. There is a vendor you can buy them off. So you've got to use them once each. So there's the Morning Star and the Talisman that's used for miracles and some more Homeward Bones. Yeah, you found this bit, Alex. And Lloyd's Talisman, which is also useful for PvP. The Lloyd's Talisman is like a throwable thing. You, you basically use it like a grenade. And it creates like a little puff of smoke. And if there's somebody inside that puff of smoke when it hits, it stops them from being able to use their Estus to heal. So I can't remember how long it lasts, but it is useful for PvP. Works on enemies as well, like on monsters. If you throw it at one of the random hollows and stuff running around, it stops them from being able to heal as well. Uh, not yet, but I am heading up here and I'm sure you know what's up here. Like this air entire area is just one big trap.
One left. Oh no. More than one left. You better be dead. No. Now you are. Now I've got these guys after me. That was risky. Gotcha. Now what's down in this bit? Is there anything? Was it just where those knights hang out? That's just where the knights hang out. <laughs> yeah, most of the heavy weapons work the same way, Alex. Like, you get one big smash and then you continue going. Although you can't spam this one anywhere near as much as the hammer. So, we shall go in here. Also, this weapon only works so well because we're early in the game. Like, as we get further on, this thing becomes a lot less useful. But at the moment, it just staggers stuff a lot. Hey! Look, it's a dude trapped in a pot. And we have humanity. Ah, that's just a door. <gasps> Who's this guy? With his fancy golden armor. Still human, are you? Then I am in luck. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. Let's help him. He looks cool. Thank you. Yes, sincerely. I am Knight Lautrec of Karim. I truly appreciate this. And I guarantee a reward. Only later. Yes, very sorry. Your reward will have to wait. I have just been freed. Allow me some time. I'm sure we'll see him later. But I like his armor. His armor is pretty cool. Like Golden Knight's armor. So. That's this little bit explored. Time to go upstairs for the next boss fight. I am going to try and get the weapon off the boss as well, just because it looks fun, if nothing else. Although it's a bit of a challenge to get it. over here oh another thing you can do when you're human is summon signs 
So there's our buddy Solaire. This is why everybody likes him. Because this boss fight is a bit of a bitch. And Solaire helps with it a lot. So if you're human, you can call in Solaire to help. And you can only really do that. It's like there's certain ones that show up anyway. But some you can only do when you're human. But we shall try it without Solaire for now. Oh, you could see its health bar for a second then before the cutscene cooked it, like kicked in. He doesn't seem happy. do this fight a specific way because I want to try and chop off his tail which I did in a single hit so that's fine I should not have been doing heavy hits and now he's upgraded to three Ow. And he knocked me off. But I did the thing I wanted to do, which was chop off its tail. So I can show you the gargoyle tail now because it is fun. So. That is the tail of the gargoyle. But look at it, it bends. You can have a bendy tail. But I just wanted to get it to show you because I like the look of it. And now we shall actually try and beat up the gargoyles. And I am back to being a hollow as well. I have less health overall now because I'm not human. Or not in human form, I should say. Yeah, Brina, nobody likes gargoyles. So I was just saying that's why the summon for Solaire is up there. If you get fed up, you can just call in Solaire to help. Yeah, I quite like the, the Zweihander. Well, I am a fan of the big smashy weapons in general, but... Oh, the caster's gone. So he doesn't respawn. I hate fighting these guys. Oh look, they're stuck in the door. there. That should take care of most of them. I might even be able to upgrade my Zweihander as well. Because I'm sure I just picked, I've got two more thingy shards as well. But I'll do that after boss fight. So yeah, you can see now I'm 
hollowed again and in zombie form. Can't see Solaya's sign anymore. You've got to be human to be able to use it. And now, because I've had the cutscene, this guy's out straight away. in both times. Oh, I can do the poke off the roll. That's the move I was trying to remember. I might just try Zerg in the first one, you know. Just lay into it straight away and see what happens. So I'm doing a decent amount, a decent chunk of damage in a hit. Poke is also really slow. I think we need. bunch more strength to make it worth it. You know what? Screw these guys. Stay down there. So this time I'm just going to try and lay into the first one as much as I can, as quickly as I can. Which means. Yeah, like Brina said, we hate these guys. Like, they are probably the most painful early on boss. And there's a fight like it in every Dark Souls game. Every Dark Souls game has one where you start off fighting one boss and you end up with two, sometimes three or even four. But these guys breathe fire as well, and unless you specifically have gear for it, you are actually weak to fire as a hollow. 
Like fire fucks you up. This guy also has a quite nice sword. Like that sword he's got there is called the S Dock, I think it is. And it's like a a giant two handed rapier. But yeah, I'm going to give it another go or two and then I might might get Solera in to help with this one. Oh yeah, my soul's got to grab those. Snagger him. I did a bit. Ah, fucker. somewhere. I got some with me. There I've got one. Plus you need to do the way the quest lines with characters work in this as well is that you've got to help them on boss fights or have them help you on a boss fight. So if I get Solarin to help, it advances his storyline. There's somebody else ringing the bell. both missed them. Um, fuck these guys. player offering to people to help. But we will just go with Solaire. Yeah, I'm human now. Oi! You're not supposed to follow us up the ladder. So there's Solaire. Doing his little praise the sun emote. So, we shall see if we do any better with Solaire helping. He acts more of a distraction than anything else, but... 
Notice how I did less damage as well, and Solar chops his tail off. There's the last beast in him. Oh, fuck off. Got caught in the fire straight away. And he did enough to kill us in a single go. And I don't think I have any more humanity to use. Unless I put some in the box. Did I? I did. Useful. Yeah, sometimes you can just get incredibly unlucky with bosses. There's a... A later boss that you can fight that had a bug early on. And it took forever to fix it because it's like originally a PS2 gamer and didn't really have online for the PS2 but there's a boss that can get stuck spamming the same attack over and over and it's quite a large powerful ranged attack. I forgot to I used the humanity and I forgot to make myself human. So back down we go. Yeah, I think the original Dark Souls 1 was a PS2 game. Oh, they were, were they both PS3? Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought it was older than that. So I remember it having problems with patching it online when first Dark Souls came out. Or it might have just been generic problems with patching and stuff. Ooh, what's he dropped? His leggings. Oh, fuck you guys. Ah, so it was basically restricted in how much you could do. See, they don't usually do this, usually they all get stuck. Last one. Right. Now we will go and fight them. Let's do it on one to see if that's any better. Oh, 
fuck off with fire again. Oh. Don't know how I'm going to get around that fire. Tell you what, I'll be cheeky. I will go in, get my souls, and run away again. <laughs> And then get myself a bit more health and stuff. Might be able to upgrade my weapon again, actually. But yeah, you're an ugly fuck when you're hollowed. Saul's gone as well now. Bugger it. Solaire up again and I'll try heading towards the other end of the roof see if I can't spread them out a bit more this is the the boss when people say Dark Souls is a stupid hard game it usually means it's because they've gotten to this boss like this boss is the blocker for the game like um, Blood Starved Beast is for Bloodborne you know the one that had its back flayed open and was spraying blood everywhere that's like the blocker for Bloodborne and these guys are the blocker for this game Starved is a pain. Like the poison effect on it got me a fair few times in that just because I ran out of antidotes and stuff. Right, come on, Solaire.
I wonder. I might just try. Oh no, I've not got it on me. So I was tempted to switch back to my axe for a bit or something. But bugger it, we'll just carry on with this for now. One down. Two down. And we get the Sunlight Medal because he helped us. But yeah, that's why some people use Solaire for this fight a lot. It makes it much easier. Like doing it solo. It is painful. But it's dead. And I didn't get caught in fire from both of them for once. Like the melee one didn't use his fire attack at all. So now we can go up the tower. And meet. Oh, he's not here. Or is he further up? There is usually somebody you can meet in here. Yeah, Brian, I opted in for Solaire's help with the gargoyles. Because fuck the gargoyles. And now I can ring the bell, and anybody else playing online who is in. Firelink Shrine, or in the Undead Burg, or in anywhere around that area, we'll be able to hear this. Like, we could hear a couple of other people doing it as we were heading up as well. You want me to invade someone? Alright, I'll try it. I'll head back to a bonfire where I can level up and stuff. And then we will try and beat somebody up. Probably fail miserably. I never did any PvP in Dark Souls 1. I only ever did it in Dark Souls 2 and 3. Ah, here he is. Greetings. I am Oswald of Kareem. The park, and I'll have a friend. For thee, a warm welcome. Come as I to confess. So, from him we can buy purging stones to get rid of curse. You can get the indictment. So, indictment is really useful. There's a couple of different factions in the game. And some of them rely on indictment for things to work properly for them so we will get that we've got the book of the guilty 
Book of the Guilty is literally the like PvP top rankings, I think. And then he sells Karmic Justice, which is a miracle. So a miracle of the Blackhead, which Velka temporary auto counter versus heavy damage. He sells the Talisman for miracles. Got the Blood Bite Ring for bleed resistance, Poison Bite Ring for poison resistance. And then Ring of Sacrifice, which is. Ring of Sacrifice can be useful. Like if you wear that and you die. You go back to the bonfire, but you get to keep all of your souls. So, let's see if we can see the PvP. Oh, am I going to put it on my quick items? So if I put the... It's not there. Um, I'm trying to remember how it, how it works now. Oh no, it's not the indictment I wanted to look at. It's under key items. No. Ah, well. Dark Souls 1 is, it's good. When I first played this game, it was because it was one of the games with gold on Xbox Live. So me and my mate Dave both got it and started. Runs at basically the same time and were racing each other towards the end. And Dave was miles ahead of me for most of it. And then I think he got stuck in Adorlando, which is like a fancy city further on. And by stuck, I mean like really stuck. He was there for days and just couldn't get anywhere. And I got lucky in Adorlando. I managed to jump ahead of him. And he never caught up at that point until... We got towards the end boss, because there was a, towards the end of the game there's an area that I got really stuck in, so he overtook me, and he got to the final boss before me, and it took him a good 15, 20 tries. Yeah, let's get some more health, and some more stamina. But yeah, it took him a good 15, 20 tries to uh, beat the final boss because he was trying to parry it every time. I went in and I'd done all of the quest line with Solaire so I could summon Solaire in the final boss to help me. And Dave came round to pick us up to go and do Dungeons and Dragons at his place. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to take... My first go at the last boss, do you want to watch? So I summoned in the Solaire to help. And beat the last boss first try with him stood there watching. He was not impressed at all. Right. So. We have leveled up a bit. We have killed the Gargoyles. We have... Three ways to go. We go this way first. This ominous looking keep. We did it. And over here we have another fan favourite. I quite like this guy. Hmm. 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 Oh, forgive me. I was absorbed in thought. I am Ziegmeier of Katarina. Quite honestly, I've run flat up against a wall. 
or a gate, I should say. The thing just won't budge, no matter how long I wait. And oh, have I waited. So here I sit, in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, his nickname is the Onion Knight. Still, still closed. Mm. Mm. Still closed. Still closed. Mm. But yeah, Siegmeier is quite cool. He shows up at various points. And everybody loves Siegmeier. So we've got that way. We can also head down. So we've got our buddy Andre down here. Hammering away. And there is this way past him. Where there is that thing. So, oh great, let's give it a go. Yeah, Andre's a beast. And yeah, this thing is mean. And I do fuck all damage to it. Stay behind its ass. That's the general rule for Dark Souls stuff. And he got me. Yeah, Andre is a beast. But yeah, that thing is mean. So we got that way we can go. And then... People doing things in odd places again. You'll occasionally see that where somebody's left a message in a place that's like near impossible to get to. People do like little jumping challenges and stuff to get to them. So the other way is we could go is back to the bridge. Um, what's the quickest way back to the bridge? this way and down the elevator because I was going to invade somebody to show Kelly wasn't I and I'm not sure if you can do it near Firelink Shrine but I will give it a go So, here we have Firelink. We have Cracked Red Eye Orb, can't use here. Hollows cannot use the item. Ah, so I've got to make myself human first. Right. So we will use one humanity. We will make ourselves human. So I am human again. And then I will attempt to use a red eye orb. Cracked red eye orb. Use. Can't use in this area. So defeat the master of the world where you have invaded to acquire humanity. 
Cracked Red Eye allows, allows players to temporarily imitate this ability normally limited to the Dark Wraiths of Karth. So, we'll need to move on a bit, so we'll head this way. So what we'll do is we'll get to the next bonfire and we'll try and invade from there. might even only need to go up to the top of here to be able to do it. Kill the rat. I wonder, is she here? There is a woman who turns up here sometimes. Nope. So we are now... Dead bug. Do I take these guys out? Can I invade here? I can. So we will give it a go. Just for Kelly's amusement. Need to spam it a few times for it to work. doesn't seem to be having it. Let's move on a bit, see if it works better later on. Yeah, it ran out. Let's try it from the next bonfire. Whoa, you jumped pretty far. Let's get to this bonfire. And we shall try invading from here. Luckily, it doesn't actually use up the item unless you successfully invade. Oh yeah, I need to be outside this room, Donna. He's got quite a leap on him. No. You will just have to qu pee quickly. Yeah, I know where to go next. Like that big thing we fought earlier that was firing lightning. 
and I'm in. Invading another world. So it'll probably take a few seconds to load. But yeah, I am um, down past that big statue thing that kicked my ass is where to go next. Oh, there's a couple of other routes you can do. Like I could go that back that way, past the skeletons and everything, or I could even continue this way and go another way under the bridge. I might do actually. Come on. Are you going to let me invade? Oh yeah, if you've not seen Alex, there are different move combos. So I've got light attack, light attack that I can do. And then you can like light attack into a heavy attack and all that. But off your dodges you do different moves. So if I roll and then hit light attack straight away I'll do a stab like that. Or you could do a heavy attack straight after it. And then there is a dash back attack as well, which is this. Not missed anything yet. I am still trying to invade and it is still not working. Searching for a world. Invasion cancelled. Try again. Yeah, I think I am going to head back to the bridge and continue on from that way. So that is quite a fun area. Continue this way, go back past the boss room. Stop it. failed to invade. So when it says failed to invade, that usually means the other person has pulled their connection. So they've seen the invasion message and gone, nope. Right, there's a few ways to do it. But yeah, failed to invade usually means somebody has pulled their connection to avoid it. you as well isn't there? Some people just don't like invasions in general. See that guy down there is a black knight and those guys are strong. Yep 
failed to invade again. We will keep trying while I'm on my uh, my way to the next big area. Oh, this guy might just kick my ass. See if I can get a sneaky backstab on him. Nope. I didn't do too bad. Run away! Oh, invading. Right. We are in. It's all. Our apple core. So, the way invasions work is it will always try and drop you near the boss door. That way, you're more likely to run into the person as they're on the way to the boss. So, look, this is still fine. He is around here somewhere. I will probably die horribly. So these guys are all here still. He might be down near the bonfire, you know. Oh yeah, the thing with this is with invasions as well as if you invade, you can't heal. You are not allowed to heal as an invader. That is something they did not introduce until much later games. But I will open this door for him. And it still plays the animation of that guy kicking it. Oh, there he is down there. wave to him. He's using a whip. He must be a speedrunner of some sort because it is ages before you get the whip. Yeah. So yeah, that is how invasions work. But he gets free humanity now for that. Anyway. Up to the bridge. Yeah, he's got, he had the... Uh, I think it's the falchion was the other weapon he was using. So, we shall head back this way. They attack the dragon first. They can kill all those hollows for us. Because we want to get back to where Solaire was. Because one of the other ways we can go is down here. Whoa. That reached further than I thought it did. Anyway, Solera is still here. Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, 
like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Brina is saving up. So we can go this way. So I will actually continue this way because this place is pretty cool. Oh, only another 6.8k to go, Brina. And just so you know as well, Brina, paper planes are a kind of origami. Right. So... I remember right, this is the shortcut. Ta da! So I can go back this way, sit on the bonfire after killing this dude. And now we are right next to the way down. Flat. I have some synth wave esque paper that Beth got me actually like night sky kind of paper continue down this way. Yeah, Beth was nice enough to get me a bunch of origami stuff for Christmas. So she got me like a little book and stuff. Yeah, no cam today, Brina. I am a mess after work. I am wrecked. Dogs. People dislike dogs. And that is why. Blood loss. Yeah, the dogs in this game are like really fast hitting enemies and they do blood loss, which is the main reason people don't like them. Blood loss is a bitch of an effect, it's just a massive damage spike. So. Do we go that way or do we go this way? Let's go this way. We'll start knocking on doors and stuff as well. So if I remember right, there is a unique enemy near here. I say unique. It's an enemy you do not see again. Bait out some more of these hollows. Just 
Stop it. Yeah, big danger early on as well. There's a thing in the game called poise, which is what staggers you. And it's very easy for enemies to stagger you early on in the game until you get some like much heavier armor to counteract it. But it's one of the reasons people love the, um, oh, what's he called? There's a knight who has massively heavy armor. Like it's literally made of stone. And his armor set is actually a pretty popular Somebody. one for some people. Please let me out of here. Somebody, anybody, help me. Unlock the door. Damn, I'm finished. How did this ever happen? He's stuck. But we have the key. Hello. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank Havel, you. that's the one, Brina. I'm saved. Havel the Rock. I, never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. So this guy is a wizard. He even has a staff. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. And that's where we get the sorcerer's gear. Handily with the guy oh, hello. I'm fine. who does sorcery. I have my... Besides... But yeah, Havel's armor is quite popular with people early on. Like if he can get the strength to wear it without falling over. Or rolling like a fat guy. It has a massive amount of poise. It means it's very hard for enemies to stagger you out of attacks and stuff. Let's see how this person died. Stabbed while drinking. There was somebody in there. I hope that wasn't anybody important. Oop. Oh no, assassins. Thank you guys. Your fancy cartwheel backflips. And these guys do bleed as well. Just put all the stuff that does bleed in one area. Oh, that was an assassin as well. We're okay. I did not kill anybody important. We get the mail breaker. It's a very weird dagger. So it is a small thrusting sword. Unsharpened but pointed solid shaft can pierce through armour. Can be thrust using the weight of one's body and is very effective for critical attacks. So what that is, is that is a backstab dagger. You don't use it for normal fighting. But if you can get behind something to backstab it, it does a ton of extra damage. Be wary of hidden path. Imminent ranged battle. Oh. Did not mean to do that. More assassins. Oh, 
Oh, just out of range. Uh, with the giant sword that I've got, yeah, you can. You can backstab with any weapon. Well, I'll see if I can do it to this guy over here. I'm just going to sneak up and not be too loud. There. Nope. There's a backstab. So yeah, pretty much any weapon you can backstab with. Although, like the smaller weapons, the daggers, and the little knives usually get like a... I think they get a backstab multiplier. So they do more damage on a backstab than most other weapons. Time to get fucked up by the dogs again. Should be one more dog somewhere. Where is it? Okay. You're still doing it. Besides, there you are. Stop doing that. So doors are still open. Maybe I can bait them out one by one. No, apparently not. But I can get two of them at once. Yeah, if you do ever do want to see like a a proper comprehensive guide to Dark Souls One. There's a YouTuber, or a streamer now actually as well, called A German Spy. And he does great ones. He talks about the lore, but he knows a lot of speedrun stuff and things like that as well. I'm sure you saw me then. You even turned and everything. There, we'll do it that way. Put another guy trapped in a barrel. But yeah, I heavily recommend the German spy stuff if you ever want to see like a proper deep dive into mechanics and things like that and some of the design behind the first game and stuff. And here's where you get thief gear. Oh, another dog. And there is another boss here. Who is actually Sherry's favourite. So. Check my armour first. Goggle hell. Better against thrust. My roll like with this on. Roll is still okay. Yeah, Capra Demon. Oh, 
hollow soldier armor is actually better. Well, the roll is a bit funky. Um, This guy will make people rage quit because of what's in here with him. See? The demon himself and the dogs at the same time. Who knows where Sherry is? That roll's a bit fat. What's my equip load like? I've got now to check it. Him just leap all the way up the stairs. Right. Um, equipment. Quick load. So, naked. You can roll like crazy. So we'll put hollow soldier armor on. Seventeen. Yeah, we're going to need to leave the lighter stuff on. There we go. Capra Demon is another one where people would literally just go, no, fuck this shit. But Capra Demon is a fun one. I just need to get used to the timing on the dogs and I should be alright. Also the run up to the Capra Demon with all these. Oh, all three of them do come out at once. Need to stop doing the kick. There. Yeah, you can do a kick. If you do the light attack and forward quickly. And it's good if somebody's like sat there with a shield. But I keep doing it by accident. When I really shouldn't. Come on. That was weird. So, Capra Demon. 
Have you not looked at the stream title, Brina? Actually, it's a wyvern. So yeah, this is a boss that just wrecks you. I'm trying to remember how I killed Capra in my first playthrough as well. Can't remember what I did to beat him. I know my mate Dave cheesed it, because there is a way you can cheese it. Or did Dave cheese it? I can't remember. a bit better. What, go fight Havel? I could try. In fact, no, you can like, Havel is slow as fuck. I might just be able to spam backstabs on him. Yeah. Yeah, he's further on this way. You will see shortly, Kelly. I think I've got the key th to get to him. We will see when I get there. And Havel is one who will definitely one shot us. I don't do it right. Right, so. Havel is through this door if I've got the key for it. Nope. We will have to wait for Havel. I went the wrong way. Should be going back this way. So yeah, Havel is 
a night like there were I think there were four knights who served the king like the Lord Gwyn and Havel is like a beast he's called Havel the Rock because his armour was literally made of rock he was just strong enough to run around in it anyway I'll probably give Capradema another go or two so I think Brina's going to be starting at 8 aren't you and we can watch Undertale which is a cool game I still need to play Undertale myself I'll give Capra, Capra Demon one more go, Brina. And then you can get yourself sorted. Because Capra Demon is technically optional, you can just carry on down here. But I do want to fight all the bosses. That's some of the Mage People Rage as well. Like, Capra Demon is here, you can just go past him and continue on. There we go, both dogs are dead. That's what we were looking for. Ah. Uh. But yeah, see how much easier it is as soon as the dogs are dead? Dropped him to... Almost a quarter health. Yeah, it's a very low health boss. The danger of that boss is the um, the actual dogs. But yeah, we will get him next time. Oh, we'll keep that one. Oh yeah, I think... We shall finish there for today. Like we got gargoyles down and gargoyles are a bitch. So we at least did those. And we will get Capra next time. But all I need to do is get his dogs dead. Once his dogs are dead it's not too bad. I just fucked up the dodge that time. So we shall be raiding over to Brina who should be starting any second now. But the plan is, I think, to continue with Subnautica on Tuesday. Because I am kind of burnt out with Two Point Hospital. Like, it's got to the point where it's crazy in that game and I need to do a lot of micromanaging. So, I will continue with it at some point. But for now, it is... Yeah, for now it will be Subnautica. So I will need to double check my uh, shifts and everything, but I should be good for Tuesday. I will post it in the Discord if there's any problems. Just got to wait for Brina to turn up. Oh, you're having a week off next week, Alex. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I am slowly getting back into this game. Like, I need to get better at timing. I'm still dodging way too late on most things. I am. I am waiting for Brina to be online.
I'm looking for it now. There he is. So Brina is live. Go on. Be nice to Brina. He's playing Undertale, and Undertale is a tough game. So I will see you all again soon, and thanks for watching. Oh, he might die a fair bit. Like I know some of the boss battles in that game are nuts because I've seen people do them. So I shall go and say hi to Brina. He may be getting raided by his famous cousin at some point. Depends if he's on. See you all soon. Bye.